I'll do my slab load. You click here again, load cases. Click on add. Still under dead load. Click on slab. Slab dead load. I'll give it a name again, dead load number two. This naming is very important to help us during our load combination. I'll click add. Okay, let me go to my Excel sheet where I did calculation. So you have uh, um, under dead loads, we have slab dead load, which is my dead load number two. Unit weight of concrete is 25 kilo newton per meter cube this is for reinforced concrete while mass concrete is taken to be 24 kilo newton per meter cube so you must have been seeing the two so this has the difference the, the this one 25 is for reinforced concrete while 24 is for mass concrete so the slab thickness i want to try is 150 mm yes that's that so for me to get the dead load of the slab in meter cube meter square sorry is by multiplying the thickness in meters with the unit weight of concrete so when you do that i've already done that with this excel sheet if you double click you see the cells have multiplied with so converting the uh, 150 millimeter to meters you divide by 1000 then you multiply whatever you you, you have with the unit weight of concrete and that gives you the the weight of uh, of slab then i will add finishes here finishes of course there will be maybe tiling and um, painting plastering and a lot of things will be done after casting of the slab so we, we, we can we can take it as finishes then I will assume my finishes to be, let's say, 1 kN per meter square. Or we can use 1.2, but in this case, let me use 1. 1, one is okay for me. Now we'll copy this unit. We have the same unit. So, sorry, copy. Yes. So when you add up these two, you get you get the total load. I will apply on the floor as dead load as this. I'll copy this unit as well. You can give it a color. So this becomes my load I will apply on my roof. Okay, so I'll go back 4.75 as slab dead load or add it. Okay, we we'll apply it as area load because the unit is in kiloton per meter square. So I'll apply it as area area load. load is also can also be applied as a floor load yes floor load yeah let me uh, we can apply it as an area load if we had modeled the slab because we need to select the area where we want to apply the load so since we do not model the slab, we can go with a uh, floor load. Yes, even plate load requires a slab. You need to model it so that when you select the plate, you'll be able to apply the load on the plate. But we don't have the plate modeled. We just have beams, beam layout. So for us to apply this load, we use floor load. So for here, you type in the, the load value. 
which is 4.75 now there's something we need to do we need to um put the dimension okay of course we know the dimension already okay let me quickly do node to node dimension from here to here is three meters yeah mm, okay then from here to here 12.05 This one is uh, 10 points. Then the sit out, the sit out is 2.5. Okay, this will help me in the application of this load. So I will have put the load already. So I'm now begin to put the range here. So um, define y range is going to be at this point. So minimum of Minimum of uh, um, maximum of three meters is actually at that point. I need this uh, this load. Yeah, that's where I have a floor. Then the for X range, we have a minimum of zero. Yes, that's this point. This is zero point for X. 0.4x maximum of 12.075 12 12.075.075 I'm just showing you how to apply how to apply a floor load then you go to Z Z this direction you have zero uh, minimum of zero yes the maximum of you have 10 plus 2.5 let me call up my calc calculator we have uh, 10.375 plus 2.5 the 12.875 12.875 875 does that mm. then here I need to put a negative sign to show the direction of the load going downwards okay so I'll click add yes so when, you, when i click on it automatically the load is being added on the floors okay we have uh, assigned to all our uh, our panels if you look closely you see that this panel which is very much bigger than the rest of them nothing uh, was assigned to it so when you experience this kind of thing it means you need to add add beam somewhere so let's quickly add beam this place is actually big like i told you when i was modeling it i said we have beams that will fill here you know, but let's just add something at the middle yeah okay then i'll go to property assign beam to it assign that's good so i also need to assign self width to it as well otherwise you will receive an error message during analysis assign self width assign to selected beam that's good so when i click on this you see everything is all right this is how to assign floor load yes that's good